everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Katie. So today's video is gonna be a whole mix of a bunch of different things, but basically I'm going to be DIYing my fall Pinterest board. So I've done this in the past and I always have so much fun with it. So I decided to pull a few of my favorite pins from my fall board and that's gonna be decorating my front porch for fall. I've got a whole bunch of ideas that I wanna share with you and show you how I decorated it. I'm also gonna be showing you some really cute glassware that you can make for fall. And on that note, this video is sponsored by Cricut. So we'll get into that a little bit later. And we're also gonna be creating some pumpkin decor using fake pumpkins. And it's gonna be a really pretty piece that you can use as like a centerpiece or just decor around your house. So I'm so excited about all of this. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so hopping over to Pinterest, this year I've pinned a bunch of pictures of pumpkin vases. I made one a few years ago using real pumpkins, but I like the idea of using a craft pumpkin because you can reuse it year after year. I already have this pumpkin that I painted about five years ago when this drippy paint was in style, but now that it's not, let's do a little upcycle. First things first, I just used an X-Acto knife to cut a hole in the top. This pumpkin is pretty easy to cut, just watch your fingers, but you want to make an opening big enough that you can fit flowers inside. Then I got to work painting, so I'm just using a mix of two different colors here. The first few coats I used a natural beige, actually sort of a grayish color. And because I had painted this before, I did need to do about three coats to cover it up. Next, I went in with my stone spray paint to give it some nice texture and finish it off. This legitimately could not be an easier project and it's so pretty. Something that I also pinned a lot this year are can glasses. Maybe you've also seen them because they're super trendy right now, but I found a few that were decorated for fall and Halloween and I thought they were so cute, like these little ghosts and also some that had leaves and pumpkins. So I was inspired to make my own version. I used my Cricut Explore Air 2 to make the decals, which was super easy. So in Design Space, I just searched in images for pumpkins and there were a ton of great options, especially if you have an access subscription, but I settled on this one, which looked perfect. Once I had added the image, I changed the color to white just to see what it would look like. Then I sized it down to a little over an inch and a half, which I think will fit well on the glass. Then I right clicked and duplicated the image a few times so I can cut multiples at once. Now we're ready to make it. And like I said, I'm using my Cricut Explore Air 2 machine for this. So this is the right size mat. And as you can see, it could fit a ton of these on here. So I could make a lot of glasses if I wanted to. I added a piece of permanent white vinyl to my cutting mat, loaded it into the machine and pressed go and let it work its cutting magic. After removing the vinyl from the cutting mat, I weeded the extra material and cut the pumpkins individually so they'd be ready to transfer to my glasses. I cut a small piece of transfer tape and smoothed it out on top of the pumpkin, then removed the vinyl backing and added it right onto the glass. I was instantly so excited with how these looked and I couldn't wait to make more. I picked up this textured metallic vinyl and I was so excited to try it and I thought it would look amazing as fall leaves. So I searched in images for leaf shapes in design space. Again, there are so many options, but I liked the look of this one in particular. So I added it and sized it down to fit the glass. Once again, I duplicated it a few times so that I can make a couple of glasses. You can already see how cool the vinyl looks here, so just imagine how awesome it will look when it's all done. I pulled off the extra material and set those aside, and I realized I wanted some variety, and since I love the look of maple leaves, I decided to cut those using the gold vinyl. For this project, I actually thought it would be okay not to use transfer tape because these are pretty solid shapes and not too intricate. So it was essentially like adding a sticker and it did work perfectly. I was able to add them one by one with no problem. I think these are absolutely gorgeous, so perfect for iced coffee or seasonal drinks, and now I wanna make some for Christmas too.
Okay, lastly, it's been a couple of years since I've really gone all out on decorating my front porch. I just haven't had a lot of time or motivation really in the past year or so, but this year I wanted to make it really cozy. So I pinned a lot of images of porches that were decorated with corn stalks because I knew I could get some from my dad's garden. And I also love the look of using pumpkins of all different colors and sizes, as well as lanterns because I think they make everything feel super welcoming. And by the way, if you use Pinterest and want to follow me there, it's just my full name and I'm always pinning tons of inspiration, so it's a lot of fun. So here's a little before of the porch. We recently painted the brick white, which has made a big difference and just made it feel much lighter and brighter. Don't mind me and my tripod here, but you can see we have quite a bit of space to work with, so let's get to work. I went to the nursery across the street from our house and picked up these mums and smaller pumpkins. Keep the mums in your thoughts because I always forget to water them, so here's hoping I do a better job this year. I also have this little wood crate and basket, which are both from the craft store, and I think they're perfect for creating different levels when I'm decorating. I have two pumpkins from my dad's garden, as well as this flowering cabbage and kale, which are not actually for the front porch, but I got them at the same time as the mums, so they're just sitting here. These lanterns are from Target a couple of years ago. They're such good quality, and I've added some battery-operated candles that work on a timer. And as I mentioned, I got these corn stalks from my dad's garden, and that doormat is a DIY. I think it looks so cozy to have the lanterns with the candles on either side of the door because it just makes this space so welcoming to come home to. I added one of the mums to the basket and finished this area off with two of the pumpkins. This is kind of a narrow space over here, so not much room to add a lot. On the other side, I set the crate upside down because like I mentioned before, I think it's nice to have different levels. So I added the other lantern over here along with some more pumpkins. I forgot to show you this vintage crock that I picked up at an estate sale this summer, but I've just been waiting to use it for this purpose and it was perfect. Of course, more pumpkins because you can never have too many. The corn stalks were actually fine on their own, but to make sure that they didn't separate or fall away from each other, I wrapped a piece of burlap ribbon around them and tied a simple knot, just letting the loose ends fall. I think it's subtle, but still looks nice if anyone were to notice up close. Okay, you guys know the drill. Let me know in the comments down below which one of these projects was your favorite. This time it's a little bit different, but was it my front porch or the glassware or the pumpkin? So let me know, leave your vote in the comments down below. I love to see which one was the favorite of the video. And I will leave all of the links for all the Cricut items I used today down in the description box if you wanna check it out or if you wanna purchase a Cricut for yourself. As always, if you have any questions about Cricut, just let me know, I'm always happy to help. And if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you give me a follow at Katie Bookser. I love to talk to you guys on there. Love it when you tag me in your projects. It's so much fun, so I would love to have you guys follow me there. And of course, if you're not subscribed to my channel here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you're one of the first people to know whenever I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.